After getting beat two times in Washington, the Atlanta Hawks will return home for game three. Let's see if the Hawks can turn things around in this two different tells and two different stadiums. Picking up early on, John Wall came to play. As you can see him shaking bake on Torian Prince. Wall had 29 on the night. Dwight Howard trying to get it going with the N1 right there. Five points and 11 rebounds for him in the effort. Kent Bazemore gets it down low for the easy bucket and it's all Hawks at this point. The biggest lead of the night was 25 points as you see Schroeder hit the three, but don't blink because coming up the court behind the back, there's a snake in his boot. Come on, John, you didn't have to do him like that. He's from North Carolina too. Jose Calderon had a nice performance coming off the bench and Torian Prince continues his great play in the starting lineup. Hawks win 116 to 98, but take a look as Markeith Morris knocks down a three. The narrative of him and Millsap was in the headlines and it continues to get just more intense. Paul, do you feel like this uh, matchup between you and Markeith is becoming personal? He just said in the locker room that you're a crybaby. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it definitely got personal now, yes. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't care. So what? Um, take his loss and go back to the hotel. Um, be ready for the next game. All right. The rivalry between Shooter and Wall grows as well. And then it started talking about picking you up more from half court, making it hard for you to bring the ball. Did you kind of notice that? If so, was that battle like between you and him? No, that, that has no effect on me. And picking me up full court ain't gonna change nothing. I'm still gonna be me. You know what I mean? That, that's not making me tired. That's not doing anything. I, I think it's just him trying to show his team he's playing with more aggressive aggression. Uh, but that has nothing to do with me. It's not dictating my game, man. It's not gonna phase me a bit. Washington still leads the series two to one. Game four is on April 24th at 8 p.m. For rolling out, I'm Rashad Moore.